Welcome to PC Mac. In today's video, we are going to look into Fide OS on Raspberry Pi 4. This is a cloud based OS that look like Chrome OS. So we are going to install it and then show the features and everything to you. This is the part one in which we are going through the installation process. So let's do it. First of all, let's just go ahead and open Safari and open the website for Fide OS and the website name is fideos.io and you can see that this is lighting fast, works online and offline, nice looking, battery saving, everything is here. You can just move these things, easy to use and this is also available for enterprise as well. Now let's just go ahead and click on download and it will take you to the next page where you can see all the downloads. Now for the Intel processors, it's right here, PC with Intel processor and you can see AMD is also here. And for VMWare, you can see here, you can download and use it on VMware, try and test in your VMware machine. Now what we are going to do, we are going to use Fide OS for you and here we need to select Raspberry Pi. So this is only available for Pi 400 and Pi 4. So I'm using the Pi 4. I have already downloaded the image. Once you click on it, it will give you an option to download via OneDrive or Mirror 1 or Mirror 2. You can download it. The size is around 1.5 GB. So now let's just go ahead and connect the flash drive, sorry, the SD card to the computer and uh, installing the Fide OS. Now the card is plugged in, not now, open the imager, choose OS and let's just move down and custom and here is the five day OS, okay, let's select the storage, I'm using a 16 gig of SD card and start writing, okay then yes, uh, let me just put my password in. So it might take a moment, I'll fast forward the video and we'll be back in a moment. Now the right process is done on the card and we can remove it now. Let me just go ahead and remove the card and plug it into the Pi and then connect it to the machine. Now the Pi is turned on and it says fail to open device SD card. Okay, I think I forgot to put the SD card in. Now the card is plugged in and it start booting up and you can see the Fide OS logo. Let's start installing uh, the operating system. I'm using my keyboard, English United States. Okay, get started. Install full disk installation. It says disk not available. So what we can do, we can insert a uh, 32 gigs of SD uh, of flash drive. Let's first uh, select keep it first okay so the disk is now available 28.6 gigs and install so it start installing and giving the commands on the right side of the screen installing parameters uh, it will take a while and it's installing the partitions let's see how much time it will take I'll fast forward the video and now the installation is completed successfully. Let's just click on shutdown. Let me use my keyboard. And boom and it shut down. Let's wait a minute and then turn it back on. Now I have turned on the machine and let's start booting up into Fide OS in a moment. The mouse icon is already there. Now I need to remove the SD card from the Raspberry Pi because we have installed the operating system to our flash drive and we can just go ahead and remove the SD card and restart the machine again. Now the SD card is out of Pi and it's restarted. Let's see what we have now. Now we can see the Fide OS logo and let me just go ahead and connect a mouse as well to the Pi. 
now my mouse is also connected let's try okay get started connect to a network now internet is connected uh, let's move forward with these steps it's loading i'm using raspberry pi 4 2gb version and uh, i'm using a capture card a video capture card for this installation so you might see some kind of a lag but it's working absolutely fine if you are doing it on directly on raspberry pi now it will ask for the email address to configure it and we have the option more option for enterprise enrollment or use mobile number let's just use the email address now it required to authenticate the user and for that they are using telegram so we need to visit the website https colon forward slash forward slash fideos.com forward slash t boat and next to register your device uh, there is a method that you need to use i'll share it on my website how you can go ahead and check with fide os chatbot you need to log into your telegram and look for the chatbot by visiting the website either you can use the t.me forward slash fide os underscore con search underscore bot i'll leave the link of this website in my description you can just visit the website and then type forward slash start and it will generate a verification code for you to register your fide os on your raspberry pi so this one is done we need to set up a password let me just go ahead and do that now the fide os account is created successfully and we can just confirm and next and here is the password it's looking for letting me logged in and it's done and it says fide os do you want to keep your data on fide os or on your google account so let's just select google account that will be good Now I logged in with my Google account here and it look for the password. I have already enabled two factor authentication on my phone. So it will give me a pop up on my phone. Uh, let me just allow and once it's allowed, I am in to Fide OS. Let's select auto and yeah get started we'll welcome the newsletter from fide os okay so we are on the beautiful screen of fide os you can see the calendar on the right side of the screen and the language is us we have selected and in the middle of the screen you can see the fide os logo that we can use okay it's still loading the applications there are, there is a file manager and there is a start button that is a symbol for fide os let me just start moving the mouse it's working so now let me just move down and try to click on this icon i think it's still loading some apps or oh, just try the windows button from the keyboard you can see the icon is coming from here and it says chromium so this icon is for the chromium os and the start button is on the left of the screen right here now you can see everything fide os rdp settings chromium camera everything is here so that's it for the installation part of fide os this is the part one in my next video we will go through the settings the improvements the working style of fide os how it's work how it's perform everything we'll check and uh, we'll together work on it and if you like this work you can just try it on your raspberry pi and the better uh, ram your raspberry pi have 
the better you will get a speed from Fide OS. So that's it for today. Uh, if you like my work, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, wait for the next part of this video. And thanks for watching. Bye bye. Take care.